Question 6. Now, I actually thought part A of this question is the hardest question on the paper. Um, start off by doing a, a sketch. Um, I've done a Q added to a, then added to a P. You could, of course, do it the other way around and do a, a P and then add a Q onto that. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I've done it this way around. Now, the secret to this question was then breaking it up into two triangles. So you've got a right angle triangle and then uh, basically using Pythagoras to work out what 3x is and hence work out what x is. So basically, so we've got to start off firstly by working out the length of these two sh shorter sides A and B. Well, I think A is simple enough, that's x sin 60, the opposite side, and C is 20 minus B, and that is, and C is obviously x cos 60, the adjacent side. So rearranging that to make B the subject, we've got B equals 20 minus x cos 60. Then doing Pythagoras, A squared plus B squared is the 3x all squared. So substituting in, we get this. Uh, a little bit of number crunching uh, gets us to this um, uh, quadratic equation, which doesn't factorize. So we have to use the formula giving us x equals 5.93. Now, for part B, I think this is more straightforward. We've got a, a P and a minus Q. I've put them together like this. Uh, we know this angle is 120 degrees from, um, really, I've, I've done it from a, the Z angle here. So this angle is 120. And then we can just use the cosine rule. So we, we know that P is uh, 20. We've just worked, we, um, we know that Q is 5.93. So um, substituting in, we can get that our our um, our net of the magnitude of p minus q is uh, 23.5 newtons.